books because I I have theories. I have stuff that needs to be debunked right now. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie, and today I am here with my book review on Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This book was on my July TBR list, and it was the first book I picked up because I had to get this reading done. Truly Devious is about Stevie Bell, a newly admitted student to Ellingham Academy. This school is very prestigious. It was founded by Albert Ellingham, who was a huge businessman in the 30s. He owned a newspaper and he had like a production house for like movies. And he was just really big and really, really rich. And he's always had this fascination for education being a game. And so he decides to open this academy very exclusively only for the best of the best, for the masters of their craft. Whoever attends this school does not have to pay. Now, could you imagine if we had free education nowadays? Now that is a concept. So Stevie has been accepted and invited to this academy. Now there is no particular application process. She is a huge true crime fan. She loves criminology, lives for it. It's the thing that she does best and it's the reason why she goes to this school. There's this huge mystery that happened back in 1936 when Albert Ellingham's daughter and wife were kidnapped and one of the students in the school was killed. This case was never solved. And so Stevie has taken it upon herself to crack this case open and solve it. Meanwhile, she's doing this, Truly Devious makes a comeback. The part where Truly Devious was their firsthand speaking or when they got letters or when they were, you know, giving calls and blackmail. Those parts freaked me out. I got goosebumps all over my body. You could feel it and it's just, it's, it was very chilling. What I love about this book is that we get alternating POVs where we get to see Stevie trying to solve the case present time but also dealing with what is going on today and we're also seeing the case happen back in 1936 and that was so interesting to read because the plot was woven in a way where it just kept you on your toes and that's something like a, a, a a recurring theme in the book is that subtle kids are being are being left behind so that when when the big thing is dropped it makes sense and that was something that was just incredible in regards to writing to be honest I suspected almost everyone in this book like I have a bunch of notes here on my ebook version that as I was reading I was trying to come up with theories at the same time that only made the experience more entertaining I loved Steve as a character she's like such a smart ass and she's like so sassy and trying to figure out these little mysteries and that she's so observant however there's not much character growth in this particular book maybe we'll see some of that in the next installment but in this particular book i feel it was it was a lot about i'm chasing after what i want i don't care what people tell me the friendships in this book were also really nice but i think this is a book where you don't necessarily Necessarily read for the characters even if they're good and quirky and they're funny but you read rather because of the plot this is a book that is very plot driven and I think that's what makes the book so entertaining I did not realize when I put this down that this was the first installment in a series I thought this was a standalone book so I'm saying this just so that you're aware of what you're getting into if you don't know now I'm desperate to read the second one I think I think I would give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. This is just me being nitpicky for a second. There were certainly points in the book where stuff happened and it just created a snowball effect where you couldn't stop reading and then you would reach certain points in the book where it's just a little bit slower towards the beginning. I felt it was a little bit hard to get into it. The description was kind of vague and the world building was kind of slow. The book's writing, oddly enough, got better as I kept reading which was something that I can definitely appreciate and again when you start reaching these points in the book where stuff really starts happening you can't put it down so that was it for today guys I hope you enjoyed my review on truly devious by Maureen Johnson I am looking forward to recording more book reviews for you guys so stay tuned for that I should have a book review for all your perfects coming very soon as well as popular books 
books that I didn't like. So stay tuned for that. You can subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. Have you read this book? What did you think of it? Or is this a book that perhaps you would like reading? Let me know all your comments down below so we can chat, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys!